Hello everyone, welcome to our today's lecture. Today we are going to study Thevenin's theorem. For studying Thevenin's theorem, we need a complex network. Say for example, this is our complex network. So, according to Thevenin's theorem, any complex network can be represented as a very simple network represented by a voltage source with a series register. Let me name this voltage source VTH, which is the Thevenin voltage, and let me name this register as RTH, which is the Thevenin register. <coughs> now, as I'm saying that these two circuits are equivalent, so what is the value of this VTH? If I name this terminal as VAB because they are equivalent. So if I measure the voltage here, I'll get the open circuit voltage of this complex network, which is VOC. And if I measure a voltage here, which will also be the open circuit voltage of VAB of this simple network, because I'm saying these two networks are equivalent. So the open circuit voltage will also be the same. So here you can see, as it is an open circuit, no current will flow through. So there will be no drop across the RTH register. So we will simply get VTH as the open circuit voltage. So that is one thing that Thevenin voltage is nothing but the open circuit voltage of the complex network in, the, in those, those two nodes, A and B. <coughs> now, what is the value of RTH? To calculate the RTH, what we need is to look through these two terminals and we have to measure the equivalent resistance through those, through those two terminals. And that will be our RTH. But before calculating the R equivalent, what we need to do is to set all the independent sources to zero. Now, what is the way to set a voltage source to zero? We need to short the voltage source to make voltage difference between these two nodes into zero. So what we will do now is we, knew, we will short this path and to set the current source into zero what we need to do is to make it open because now there is no current flowing through this path so the current is zero. So now we can calculate <coughs> the R equivalent and that R equivalent will be our RTH. So this is a way to calculate RTH. So now I'll show another straightforward way to calculate RTH. So let me, if I just uh, short this path so there will be a flow of current to this way. Let me name the current as ISC, which is the short circuit current. And as I'm saying that these two circuits are equivalent, so if I just short this path also, then definitely a current will flow through this way. And as these two circuits are equivalent, so this will also be the short circuit current. Now from this circuit, what if we calculate the short circuit current, we will get phi thevenin divided by r thevenin from Ohm's law. And we know that phi thevenin is nothing but the open circuit voltage of this circuit. So it's open circuit voltage over the arc thing. Therefore, 
we can write R Thevenin is equals to V of open circuit divided by I of short circuit. So that's another finding or a way to calculate R Thevenin which is nothing but open circuit voltage of the complex network divided by the short circuit volt current of that complex network in those two given terminals A and B. So we can conclude in this way that there is a network or a circuit inside this box and I'm given only two terminals from that network A and B. So with respect or external to these two terminals I can calculate and draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit of that network by just measuring or calculating the open circuit voltage of those two terminals which will be the Thevenin voltage and if I just measure the short circuit current of these two terminals through these two terminals ISC then I can calculate the R Thevenin and R Thevenin will be the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current of the given network. So this is the very basic of Thevenin's theorem. In later lectures, I'll discuss how to deal with dependent sources. So till then, thank you all. Thank you very much.